Yes, good afternoon. Um, peace and blessings. I just want to continue on what I usually make my content about, you know, spiritual warfare, that and of the correlation between narcissism and having demons, you know, attached to your vessel, your soul, your spirit, you know, empty vessels, NPCs. Um, I just want to talk about generational curse breaking. You know, it's chosen, uh, light of this world, um, lovers of God, um, who actually are connected to God. Um, you are a generational curse breaker. You are the black sheep of your family, most likely. You are the one gifted from God to break generational curses. Um, most likely, most of your family is ignorant. They are narcissistic. They are riddled with demons. You know, narcissism is being an empty vessel, you know, filled with demons. Riddled with demons, sometimes a legion. In the Bible, Jesus cast a legion of demons outside of a man and now since 2020 you know market end times most likely the majority of the world has them it's become popularized commercialized you know pushed by the freemasons um having demons is popular you know they call it toxic but you are the black sheep of your family you are that generational curse breaker you will be shunned by society in many ways, your family, your friends, when you are activated, <clears throat> excuse me, when you are activated by God. Because the light that you carry is something that stirs their demons, especially if they are under full demon possession. You know, people under full demon possession, once you get to a certain strong, you know, standing with God, you know, I call it, you know, they cannot hide their horns. They cannot hide their horns from you anymore. Um, before you were activated, they have a good way of hiding it, who they are, what they carry, you know, the dark, because they are of the kingdom of darkness, for Satan, for Lucifer, whatever you want to label them as. And you are of the kingdom of light, for Yahweh, for God. You are a warrior for Christ. You are a cross bearer. You're a generational curse breaker. You know, these normal people... You know, in this world and, and uh, under this witchcraft, you know, this demonic spell this world is under, you know, they'll see you, they'll see the light you carry, they don't understand that you're different. Because most likely they're, you know, under demonic strongholds. They're not really under full demon possession. But a lot of people under full demon possession understand who you are, what you carry. They'll be sent assignments to, you know, deter you, distract you, you know, to stop you from, you know, your purpose. There's only for a moment. You cannot stop what God has set in place. It is in the Bible. You are marked by God. You are touched by God. You are chosen by God. You just have to realize it, live it, breathe it, walk it, and God will do the rest. Yahweh is good. Yahweh is almighty. Yahweh is all-knowing. He understands when it's your time to ascend on your purpose. So he'll put you through certain tests, you know, isolation mode, and then wilderness to touch your to test your mirror, excuse me, to build up your spiritual warfare tolerance, to show you certain things. You know, me personally, in the past, I was going through spiritual warfare when I was first activated. You know, I didn't understand it. I thought everybody's lost their freaking mind. Um, to be honest, um, to be blatantly honest, I thought everybody's lost their freaking mind. I still kind of do in certain ways, but I understand it's more, you know, spiritual, it's demonic, it's they, they're riddled with demons. You know, but I thought everybody lost their mind. You know, I didn't quite understand it. You know, what was going on? What, what, what was the shift? 2020, a spiritual shift happens. It's always a spiritual shift in the spiritual realm first and then manifests in the physical realm. So a spiritual shift happened. Demonic entities were given more authority over people, most likely. And whoever was a narcissist, an empty vessel, you know, spiritually dead, was susceptible to being demonic vessels, demonic puppets, NPCs, which you see now currently in this world. You see a, a man who's a kid's, you know, rap artist, you know, gyrating on the devil's penis, you know, for your kids to watch, you know, before they go to school, you know, get a juice box, some graham crackers, you know, and get a speech from, you know, the LB community spokesperson, you know, to come home with some horns. Um, this, this is the world we live in. You have to see the spiritual parallel. Um, but as a generational curse breaker, 
You know, people in the demonic strongholds will see you, they'll understand it, but they won't fully understand it. So they'll misjudge you. You know, people go off the opticals, they go off the optics. You know, you need to be, you know, seven feet and, you know, acting, you know, you need a bull in a china shop, uh, you know, uh, they go off optics, they go off material things, they're very, they're very carnal minded, they're very uh, reprobate mind, they're very foolish, they're narcissists, so they're adult children, you know, in, in adult, they're, 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 they're children in adult bodies, this is what you're dealing with, very susceptible, to, it seems like that would be the easiest person for a demon to jump in, you know, a, a, an, an adult whose mind and soul and spirit is, is like a child, I'm pretty sure, it kind of makes sense. Um, but these people who see you, they won't understand fully. People under demonic strongholds. But the people that you come across that are full demon possession, full demon possessed, you know, you get around them and you feel a heavy weight. and You know, they witchcraft you. They, they say certain things and, and you feel a heavy weight in the beginning of your spiritual journey. It's because they're under demon possession. It's because God showing you and, and letting you feel, pause, you know, how spiritual warfare is. He's showing you. So you have to go through it. You have to rejoice. And the Bible says rejoice when, when they curse your name. Rejoice when, when you are slandered because you are like the apostles. You are reminiscent of an apostle, you know, in Jesus' days. That is your walk. That is your spiritual journey. That is your destiny. That is your purpose. You have to rejoice in it. You have to bear your cross. It is what it is. You know, everything... That's good is evil. Everything that is evil is good. You know, I'm black. I'm African-American. Our only female role models are whores. Now, I feel sorry for my young sister and, 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 and the things she will have to go through as a woman in this demonic world because she is taught from a young age that she has no value from this demonic world. My younger brother, he was taught that unless he... You know, makes a rap video for his hood, you know, totes a bunch of guns, you know, stays in the hood, you know, his whole life, you know, he's not a man. It is demonic. This is the demonic things we go through in this world. Because it's controlled by narcissists, demon riddled people, demon possession people, you know, controlled by the Freemasons, pushed by the Freemasons. A demonic agenda this world is under. The earth. Not just America, the earth. But I speak for America, I'm American, but it's, it is the earth. Once you are woke, once you are spiritually connected to Yahweh God, once you get a little bit of a spiritual footing on your walk in this nearer path to heaven, you'll understand everything I'm saying. It won't make sense at first, but once you get there, you'll understand. And you'll look back at the few years you went through spiritual warfare and you'll laugh it off like I do every day. Because it's all foolishness, it's all folly. It's all for, for, for a 10-year-old person. You know, the things that these demons put you through spiritually is for a 10-year-old person. But it's just pushed by demons. So it's like if it, you feel the weight spiritually on your soul and your spirit. But the things they throw at you are for a 10-year-old child. To, to go against it's, it's, it, it's literally I, I can't explain it no better than that literally it's for a 10 year old child but God has to let you go through certain things he has to let you go through certain things so you can go through the fire and I'm excuse me for the you know noise distractions you, just, you know I, I explained in many videos when you were chosen when you were alive in this world you will go through noise distractions people will, will walk past you and talk you know randomly when you're you know I explain all the time I'm not gonna go through it again but excuse me for that, I really can't do nothing about that. The devil is really, you know, has a, has a, you know, the devil really, you know, doesn't want to let me go because I'm very powerful with God. My spirit is a giant, you know, in, in the spiritual realm. I'm very, I'm, I'm, I'm a spiritual giant, you know, in, 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 this, in, this, in this spiritual warfare. I'm very smart. So the devil has, he's refusing to flee, even though I'm resisting him, he's refusing to flee. But when the devil doesn't flee, and the things the devil takes away from you, he has to repay times two. God will repay it times two. So it's just making it better for you. If the devil was in your life and you're resisting God and you keep going and, and, and it seems like it's not getting any better, it's, it's opticals with the devil, smoke and mirrors with the devil. It's to make you quit. 
It's to make you want to give up. You're a generational curse breaker. If you break through onto your purpose, you will bring people with you. The people in your community don't want that because they're narcissists. They love, they love evil. They love foolishness. They love folly. They don't want anything good from anybody if it's not coming from them. But they cannot do anything good because they're narcissists. So they don't want you to do it. So they'll do everything in their power as a community, as a society, you know, to, to send you roadblocks to stop you. Because you're chosen. You're like this world. It's demonic assignments. It's demonic agendas. Your family, your friends, intimate relationships, social relationships, work associates. It's all the same. Me personally, I've eradicated anyone in my life that is not a true lover of God. I have the gift of discernment. I can literally see people's spirits. People won't really understand it, that you can see the spirit. Because they are forced to act normal because they're demonic puppets. They are forced in this matrix to act normal every day in the loop through their physical damnation. It is what they signed up for. It's choosing to be their own God rather than glorifying God, rather than loving God, rather than trusting God. But you were a generational curse breaker like I am, like those before me who gave me the breadcrumbs to do what I'm doing now. But it won't be easy. You know, God cannot hold our hand through this, through this journey in life, but he will carry you the entire way. But he cannot, he cannot hold your hand, so it will not be easy all the time. You go through many things that will seem like it is a stopping point. But you have to realize when the devil closes the door on you, it is God setting things up in the spiritual realm to be manifested in the future to open a door for you. It is what it is. You have to go through it. Everything that I went through in the beginning of my spiritual journey is laughable, is comedy, doesn't make any sense anymore. It was God showing me and putting me through spiritual warfare so I, understand, I could feel the weight of it. So I can tell you about it. So I can tell others about it. But he's not going to keep you in positions of your whole life. That's what the devil wants you to believe. That's what these demonic vessels want you to believe. They want to keep you from your purpose. But once you're on your purpose, you're already there. You just have to keep doing it. And resist the devil and you shall flee. You and your soul and the Holy Spirit that... Is manifested through you physically carries a high vibrational frequency into this physical realm which shakes up the matrix which bothers people's demons you walking into a bill me walking into Walmart right now 90% of them are going to be demon possessed they're going to know who I am they're going to be offended or scared everywhere I go if you are chosen, everywhere you go, people in the baggage, the demons that they carry, will recognize you. You are reminiscent to a Drake, to the Beatles, to anyone famous. You are, fa you are you in the spiritual realm, you are famous from these demons because they're scared of you. Because they know once you realize your power and you take your power back and you realize that you have dominion over the demons in this physical realm, there's no going back. Sort of reminiscent to what I'm going through right now. But in the beginning, just like you, just like the ones before me, I didn't realize it. I thought people lost their mind, like you probably did. I thought this world was going to end up like Mad Max in a few years. But no, it was just a spiritual parallel. The end times, the mark of the end. You know, and, and it's a spiritual... <laughs> And as a spiritual parallel to what you're going through, sorry, this is no distraction. And, and, and as a spiritual parallel to what you're going through, you have to realize God is going to carry you, but He will not hold your hand. God is going to always carry you, excuse me, carry you through what you're going through, but He will not hold your hand. So it will be 
difficult at certain points, certain periods in the spiritual journey that you go through. This warfare, this is warfare. You're a warrior for God. These people are puppets. You are God's warrior. You're God's chosen. You're the light of this world. You're not supposed to break through. You're an anomaly in your society. But God is going to always push you. What God has set in place cannot be stopped by any man. The Freemasons are not in control. The devil is not in control. People in power in your governments, whatever state, city, country, are not in control. God is in control. And they understand that. They understand that. That their time is running out. They are not in control. God is in control. But whoever is chosen, whoever is light of this world, they seek to push fear on you so you will not realize it. So you will not understand. They have to hide it from you. You are a generational curse breaker. You are an anomaly. You are the black sheep. You are the light of this world. And like I always say in all my videos, you know, cloak yourself the arm of God. Bolster your prayer regimen. Become a prayer warrior. You know, peace and blessings.